It's said that only a few are able to truly open their minds to the blessings of the desert. Those who can know the feeling of being pulled into its limitlessness, of finding beauty in the struggling victories of the life that survives there. In the desert, the sky becomes the ocean, while the sand remains a sea of its own. And in the midst of it all, if a man pays attention, he begins to sense his own spirit as it becomes surrounded by the music of wind and silence. The Sand Hills, mapped by the U.S. government in 1849. Gold seekers and settlers were once here, as well as Indians. Well, what's happening, everybody? Tim Kreitz here, Tim Kreitz Adventures. Today, I am in, I think I'm in Winkler County, Texas. I'm not entirely sure. What I can tell you is that I'm just a few miles from the New Mexico line, and I'm out here in the middle of nowhere by my mother frickin' self. But that's all right. I wanted to show you guys a very unique feature we've got going on out here in this part of Texas. Random sand hills. If you ever want to feel truly alone, this is the place to come. You know, you hear stories about how people run off to the desert to kind of find themselves, to have spiritual awakenings and sort of discover who they are or what's going on in their mind, their body, and their spirit. I can understand that. You know, where I live is arid, but this is a desert. It has a solitude about it, a silent beauty, at the same time a sense of danger. And when you're out here in a place like this, I'll tell you that you're very aware of yourself. And you're very aware that you're alive. 